Welcome to day three and our fun week of webisodes. And we've, we've been, been making, making jewelry. jewelry just like this. And we're gonna show you how to do it. So easy. Yes, come, come play, play with us. us. Well, here are the bits and pieces. So there right. are glass pieces. Glass domes. Right, and they're all domes, so it's really nice. And right. then there are the pendants, and you can see that they all match the shapes. Right. So one inch circle, one inch square, one by two inch rectangle, and then this oval that is just quite lovely. With the domes, I believe you're going to get two yeah. per set, and then I think you, you get two kind of, of everything. Oh, two just of in, each. Just exactly like this. You can, get, like you can get these by themselves, these, right. these, or these, but we're putting them all together, and we'll back up a little bit so you can see a couple more Some things. Some of the things you use to play with these, including glass paint right. and all of these different colors. And you're also getting mirror plastic sheet, and we'll right. show you that in detail when we get super, to using that. Super reflective. Right. Okay, so now we're going to show you projects oh, please. and how to do all of this. So we scoot, let's see, you're going to need those. I am. And we scoot these back? Yes. Okay, so we're going to start with the one inch circle and um, this is oh, what it look can that. look like. So you can see that dome right there. It's all attached. We've just strung this on a ribbon. Um, and you can see the word love. Now, the lights are really reflecting, as you can see, but in person you can see everything nicely. Now, there are a few things that were used to create that. Right. Now, it, maybe you want to show the dazzles that we use first, okay. and then I'll show you the other elements. Okay, so we have a corner dazzles. Surprisingly, well, the reason why these are so nice is because they've got all of those swirls and flourishes. Right. And Lots of different sizes and yeah, shapes. Yeah, and you can use them. We also use the uh, tiny words and phrases because that's going to give you a word like and that's love. what I think is great about these you're going to be able to use different kinds of dazzles so you can really get a look <laughs> that you want but also we're going to combine these with these other elements including including the glitter the glitter clear sheets and these come five in a package I think it's five and I just got this corner bent back so they're so self-adhesive right. and they're, they're still trans transparent, you're going to be able to see through, right. but you can see the glitter. And you can see how and it, it of, looks. And it picks up color too, so yeah. I love that change of color. But let me show you this piece of the mirror sheet. So the mirror sheets come six inches by nine inches. You're going to get one piece right. per set. And this doesn't look all that mirror-y until you peel off the protective covering, which I had ready to go. It's not really <laughs> sticky on the front, so it should be easy. It's just a film. Come on, Gail. No, I. There we go. There we got go. Got it. Okay, so it's just a film, and once I do that, now you can see it, it has very much a mirror finish very, on it. Very, very highly reflective. Right. So that just gets removed, and that's on there to keep it from getting all scratched right. up. Right. And it is pretty firm, so it's going to be a nice stable base. Now the nice thing about this is mm -hmm. that your glass pieces become your template. So you can cut anything that you need, like the mirror sheet, um, by using this. So right. that's universal Trace it through and all then of them. Cut it out. You'll yeah. be able to do that. So let me show you first of all these three pieces. You've got the mirror sheet. You have the glitter sheet, but you also have this extra sticky. Uh, double-sided adhesive. Yeah, you can use that. It looks like this. It's extra sticky. It comes with two sheets, or you can use the crystal lacquer. And actually, Either one. yeah, right. And plus, you can use them in combination. The best way to anchor them into the pendant, it's it, or an easy way to anchor them, is with that double-sided adhesive. I'm going to start with this mirror piece for this round pendant that we're looking at. And I've removed the plastic covering. So this is, what I'm showing you here is one way to do this. And we'll show you okay. another way when we show you the next pendant. I'm removing the backing from the glitter sheet. And I'm going to place that right on the front of that mirror sheet. So this is an easy way to get that glitter really quickly. And then I'm going to turn this over. And on the back, I'm going to place the double-sided adhesive. And here we go, just like so. 
And this is like the um, quarter inch and half inch that we use so often in card making. Right. So um, now I'm going to place that dome here on the back. I've got a pencil. You could also use a, um, a permanent marker and just go ahead and trace around here. You know, there's two sides to that double sided adhesive, and one side is the paper side. If I had been thinking clearly, <laughs> I would have made sure I had the paper side on this because you're not going to see this much with a pencil. I can see the line there where, from where I am, just enough to go ahead and cut that out. Now you're cutting through three layers. You're cutting through the double-sided adhesive, the mirror, and the glitter piece. Now I would go ahead and cut all the way around, and when you're done, you're going to get a piece that looks like this. So I used that dome to trace it. Now I've got that cut out, and I've got the double-sided adhesive on the back, and I have the pendant. So I'm going to remove this. Now there we go. Peel off that covering. It's pretty sticky and then I can place that right within the pendant. So this is how, and like, like Paulette said, you can also use the crystal lacquer to put this in, but we wanted to show you more than one way. Make sure that that's pressed in all the way. And now that's ready. I'm going to devote my attention right. to the glass dome. And actually to the back of the glass to dome. To the back of the glass <laughs> dome. I'm going to bring in my craft sheet because I'm going to need that in just a moment. On the back of the glass dome, I have, I'm arranging here, I'm going to place the corner dazzles. And I'm just going to peel one of these up, just like so. And if we look at that um, pendant for just a second, we can see that Susan placed that sort of on the bottom half of it onto the back. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to sort of place it anywhere here on the bottom. Make sure that I'm leaving enough room for that word love there. So there we go. We've got it on there. And you can use an exact, the pen knife to get that off, or you can cut that off with scissors. I found it was easy enough to just take my scissors and sort of, I turn it, I'm just turning it, it sort of mm -hmm. at an angle. So then I'm snipping, snipping it off even with the edges. Just so you can like imagine so. how little you're using of any of these products and right. really the products are inexpensive to begin with, mm -hmm. but you're going to get a lot out of them. Yeah. So, oh, it looks pretty. So <laughs> when, when that's on there, I want to bring in, here we go, I want to mention that we're going to place the word love on there. We're actually placing it on here. If I put it backwards on here, then the word will be backwards. Right. So I'm you don't want actually, to do that. Right. I'm going to actually place love there on the pendant before I show you the next piece here. And I've got the tiny words and phrases. I like to use my pen knife to pick that up and place it. Uh, I think it's going to be about there. So that will be ready to go for when I put this on. And I've got to say, just like that, it's already pretty. Right. And you it's can already. adjust that if you want, if you wanted to move it down a little right. bit. Right. Easy I did to that, do. I did that quickly. <clears throat> mm -hmm. But we're going to go on to coloring the back of this. So the way we got color on there was with the glass paint. And I have to tell you, um, a customer named Trish, thank you Trish, is the one who put me on to this. And she tried lots of different coloring materials to find one that would work. And these $3.50 set of, <laughs> of, of uh, glass paints works perfectly. It does. And she did say, use just a toothpick, just like Gail's doing, right. to color in the area. So I just pop them open, I start coloring. And one thing to remember, when you're working on a project like this, um, it's got to dry before you do anything else. It's got a 24-hour right. drying time. Sorry about that. So but. go ahead. No, that's <laughs> all right. So go ahead and get this part ready, and then plan on finishing it tomorrow. And then you can change colors. But you can do all your colors. Add all your colors. I did that already. I let it dry, and there it is with all these beautiful colors. I'm going to close up the lids on there, and then I'm going to bring in the last piece. And the, to connect this, because we, we're not using the double-sided adhesive here, we're using the crystal lacquer, you just, this, this is going to set right on there. Let me just show you. What Susan said is you're just going to put a little bit of the crystal lacquer. I'm trying to get the little And off. don't Three shake pieces. it. Don't shake it because you're going to get bubbles. Yeah. I just used this yesterday, so this should technically come right off. <laughs> we don't want the other one because it hasn't open, been yeah. snipped. Oh, I can't get it off. 
So just a little bit of the crystal lacquer right on the top of it, and that's going to attach. Hey, yay, there you, go. you did it. <laughs> it's going to attach that piece. And I'll do that just like this. Just a little puddle in the center, just a little bit. And you can either move that around with the bottle, or you can use a toothpick, or just now, sort of scoot it around like this. It but looks you, cloudy right now, but it will dry crystal clear. Crystal so, clear. Yeah. So just make sure that it's all over the right. base here. And I am I, I would take time and make sure you get it all the way up to the edges, but I feel like for our time purposes, I'm gonna stop right there. And then we're just gonna place that pendant. And you don't want to move it around too much once you get it in there. Hopefully you can just place it down where you want it and press oh, it into nice. place. And I'm just gonna press. If you get any of it coming out, squeezing out the edges, you just wash it off with water really quickly, but then yeah, just let wipe it dry it. completely, and there is a finished piece. Now hold, let's hold them together. Okay. So you can see that you can use those dazzles as your, um, you know, as your black area, of course. Right. And you can move them around however you want. And they're so. fun to kind of color in the different yeah. areas. That was fun. And it's done. And it's done. It's done. <laughs> well, once it dries, it's yeah. done completely. That is a pretty quick gift, isn't it? I mean, it it'd truly. be so easy to make or, oh, hey, I want something to match this outfit. Make it whatever right. color you want. Now, we've <laughs> used a bunch of colors, as you right. can tell, but you could use just one color. Or no Or colors. just two. Right. Or no mm -hmm. colors. Right. Let it be black and silver. Here is a, a rectangle, and we've done the same thing. Of coloring in the areas just exactly the same way. What um, Trish found and we have found is that having that glitter and that mirror sheet just really gives you that that glow behind and it just does so much to make these um, so unique. Right. And that is fun. And I do have another rectangle just because um, Susan had a really good time. Playing with them. <laughs> not adding any words, but really just letting it cover with the dazzles and right. then with the with the uh, the colors. Now so. I, I want to show you a different way of attaching okay. these. If you don't use the crystal lacquer, if you just use the extra sticky tape, there's another process to doing this. So we'll start here. I've got the the mirror sheet, and here's the uh, protective covering on the front, and I've got a piece of the double stick. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the mirror sheet over, and place. Now let me make sure that I'm doing this correctly. Uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on the front this time. No, Gail, think. <laughs> oh, on the back. It's gonna go in the back. <laughs> it's gonna go on the back. So I have this all ready, and now I'm gonna try to find it and. So, um, okay, I know. I wasn't gonna show you how to do it because I just showed you already. Right. Remove this, you're gonna place this on the back. You've got the double stick on the back. Then you're going to go ahead and, and remove one side and stick it on there. Use the glass dome, trace around, and cut out. And I did that already. So here it is with the double stick on the back. And this is ready to place in your pendant. So you remove the backing, which I do have started here. And just like we did the other one, go ahead and place that into this piece. And it's a little Now sticky. you could have attached that with crystal lacquer. You could have. Yes. But I'm showing, this one I'm showing beginning to end with that double stick and not using the crystal lacquer in this. Uh, let's see. I guess we are going to use it at some point. We'll see. I kind of don't know. Or we'll just let you talk to yourself. So we've got that. The protective film also has to be removed, which I think I can just sort of scoot it off. There we go. There you go. So there's that beautiful mirror. Now, what I did in the last one is I put the glitter sheet right on here. Mm -hmm. This time, we're going to put the glitter sheet on the back of the glass. And there's a reason for Before that. Before you do that, why. let's just look at the mirror sheet with this, just to see the difference of what that glitter does. Oh, yeah. So if you like that, that's another way you can do it, is right. not have the glitter sheet. We liked the glitter sheet. Let me, oh, mm -hmm. could you leave that? Yes. Thank you. Um, and so it just Ooh. gives, 
it just gives a different look. Mm -hmm. Just two different ways you can do it. So just wanted you to see that side by side. Right. Okay, so now I've got the piece that I, I put the dazzles on, I painted it on, mm -hmm. so that's ready to go. But Susan also put the love right here, or any other word that you want from the tiny words and phrases. And the way she did that, now on the last one, I put this on here, and then we put the love right on here. On this one, we're going to peel off Oh, if I can find an edge, we're going to peel off the glitter sheet and lay it down, sticky side up, just like so. And then, <laughs> yeah, here, I'll use that to hold there. it down. Then I'm going to grab the word from here, which you can grab just anything. Maybe I'll, I'll grab yeah, it can laugh be this wish. Time. It can be there's one on there, simple joy, so you can mm -hmm. put joys or just about anything. This one is laugh. I like to use this to hold it. And I'm gonna put it up in that corner, so I'll place it just about here. Now, this here's why I did it. So I stuck it on that way because I'm gonna stick this on the back of the glass. Mm -hmm. So these are the two different the two main different ways of doing this. Hold that in place so I can hold it down. And then you go ahead and place that piece right where you want it to be. It's interesting that you have to sort of pay attention to the, the curvature of the, um, the glass, of the, of the uh -huh. glass there. So get nice. that just where you want it. And then Susan used, she said she used the craft knife to cut around that. She thought that was the easiest way to cut around after. Then you place the double-sided adhesive on the back of that, and then you glue it into your you piece. place it into that, right. right. Okay. So that's the, the okay. second process of how to do that. Now, we have a very different look here, and this is done with um, a, a book that is called Easy Peasy. Now, this happens to be the vintage one. There's also a uh, pretty and playful one, and this has all kinds of art, and um, just tons and tons of, well actually 180 pieces of art in this little book. Right. All so different sizes. Different sizes. So mm -hmm. you've got the square, you've got the rectangular, you're yeah. going to have uh, lots of different shapes available. And a way to kind of decide is you can go like this and say, okay, well there's my glass. Mm, do I mm. want that moon? Or do I want this? Right. Or maybe I want that. And you can kind of just go through and decide, you know, what looks what looks good to you. Right. And in this case, I'm going to go back here and we took this butterfly and did it uh, which is a 1-inch rectangle or square, sorry, and uh, placed it against the mirror and mm -hmm. added the glitter sheet on top and then just attached them together. Right. We, That's what you're going to do. We right? didn't need the mirror for this one. Oh, right, we don't need the mirror because, need the mirror because you, can't you can't see, see through, through it. So yeah. Let me just okay. show you. So Thank I you. went ahead and I cut out a piece. I put it on this one, Imagine Create. I thought that was kind of fun. Yeah. And I go, okay, well that's going to fit. That's the one I'm going to use. So I start with putting the, the, glitter, the clear glitter sheet right on top of that artwork. And that's before I cut it out along the edge. So I've got that glitter sheet on top of there. And then you place the double-sided adhesive on the back. Then you cut it around that shape right along those square edges because it is one inch, which I did that. So there it is. And then you can remove that uh, double-sided adhesive from the back and that is what's going to stick it inside of your pendant. And then just add a little bit of the crystal lacquer and glue that in place. Right. And, and if you want the piece. glitter, you can use it. If you don't, you, you, you don't. Do it with that. Yeah. And here is the <laughs> butterfly, you can see. So, so that's lots, super simple. Lots of options here. Well, we have yet another option. <laughs> and you'll see it in this oval. And we have gone back to our stamps. And we have used, in this case, the songbird stamp. And this has been, let's see, the little guy right there has been used 
right. onto. Uh, I can show you. Yeah, okay. Onto the Bring it on in. So these are the, the papers used were the seaside papers. The stamps were the songbird stamps. So brown stays on ink, uh, timber brown was used. So stamping the image, that's fine. And then you've got these dazzles. Do you want to show right. those? Right. These are the gold pearl charm dazzles. Now, these are gold with a silver edge. That's not what you're seeing on this piece, you're seeing it darker. You're seeing it darker when I mean, you're seeing words. So within these charms, there are some words. Here are bliss, and those are separate letters. Susan took those, removed the ones that say, I'm trying to find it, dream. I've got it placed on a piece of plastic here so I can remove it really easily. But she turned it brown by using that timber brown stays on. And I've got the ink pad, here it is, and I'm just going to ink up those letters. Just like that. They're actually Just ready. That, that tough. <laughs> that easy. And then you can pick up those letters from that plastic piece. And sometimes they jump, so I hope I can just pick it up <laughs> without a problem. You give might it, want give to, it a minute to let yeah, it dry. Yeah, to let it dry, <laughs> which then, we didn't uh, do. <laughs> but then place them one at a time near the image. I think it was down below. So mm -hmm. just figure out where you want to place them down below the image. And then I would use the oval dome to trace around and cut out your image wherever that's going to right. be used and you'll see the finished product there. And there it is. So very easy. Nice way to use the stamps and we have yet another One stamp more. that we can use and <laughs> this is, I just think this is really neat. And it was using the Botanical Frames stamp set and it is using just that part right there. And this was stamped. You're going to show that? I, I am okay. going to show it. I'm missing. There we go. Okay. Got it. <laughs> the rectangle. So I wonder if you, while I'm starting this, if you have the black stays on it. I only seem to have the brown I over do here. have black. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so here is the glass dome. So the rectangular glass dome. I've got the stamp on here, and I know that my butterfly area is right here. So that's where I'm going to stamp. But before we start going, we're going to use a couple of zots on the front of this to keep it stable. The rectangle is um, not as domed as right. the circles, the ovals, and the squares. Mm -hmm. Just the edges are rounded, but still, right. you don't want it moving around when you stamp on it. I'm going to put that right on my craft Good sheet, idea. and those dots come off really easy. So now that's not going anywhere, and I can ink up this stamp. And this just amazes me. You're going to be able to stamp <laughs> right onto the glass, and there's my butterfly on this side. Make sure I get that nice and inked up and then stamp directly onto your piece. I would also line up the edge, there you the go. edges before I do this. And down we go. I'm being very careful to make sure I don't slide off of it. Make sure that I imprint on the center of that stamped image, on the center of that dome, and then I kind of have to peel it off. And there, there we go. go. Look at that. Oh, that is so amazing. That is really So <laughs> there it is. Then get out your glass paints. Here, if I pick this up, if I peel this off, and I would let that dry just a couple of, just a minute yeah, or those so. Those thoughts are doing a good job of holding that down. But you can see that that's stamped on there, and you'll be able and to see through. And so go ahead and use <laughs> the glass paints. Paint on that and any color you like, and then it's going to. And this is with the. Uh, oh. How that uh, glitter Turn sheet it behind it, Remove. yeah. See, the zots come right off. Gorgeous. So you could use it just black and white you like could. that. You could even, you know, if you're going to use the glitter sheet, you mm -hmm. can use Spectre Noir pens to color that any yeah, color you want. You could. And then put that over that. So that's pretty neat and idea, too. And what we did here is to use some of the uh, glass paints and tuck it into the uh, Plat the pendant. Into the pendant, like that. over that glitter, and just a beautiful. So what do you think? We're pretty excited yeah. that um, we have a new surface <laughs> that we can use some of our favorites with. It does take a couple of other things, but pretty, right. 
pretty uh, pretty minimal. Pretty me. Okay. And I want which one am I going to wear? <laughs> I I like the round one quite a bit. What do you think? This one. I goes think good. it goes very nicely. How about you? I think I'm going to go with this Pick it one. Up. Yep. Pick we'll it up. bring it here, here we and are. wear it and be very happy. And we're going to make, make more. Lots and yeah. give them to people. <laughs> <laughs> and join us tomorrow. We're going to have more fun, more new things, and more uh, techniques to show you. See you tomorrow. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I was playing around with what you can put behind these. And we already know about the glitter sheets right. on that silver mirror sheet that we have. But we also have mirror dazzle sheets. So I put a piece of the glitter sheet on there. And look what happens if you put that oh. on top. And now you've got a gold option. And it's just beautiful, that sparkly with the gold. And you can do all your dazzles and your coloring and whatever on there. And I also tried, oh, what would happen if I put it on silver linen specialty paper? So that's still the clear it's, glitter sheet. Yep, the clear glitter sheet stuck onto silver linen specialty. I really like that look. You get a little bit of a texture mm -hmm. there. And then one more th thought sort of ran through my head. This is a piece cut from the silver fireworks, fireworks holographic, holographic right. paper. I cut it out right where one of the fireworks holographic is. and. Put that dome on there, <laughs> and I just think that's super cool. Add a little wow. word behind there and see what you can do. It's okay. fun to play with. Try what you have. <laughs> There's just a lot you can do. Yeah. <laughs>